doing a walk around. The system is designed to pr process one ton per day, 2,200 pounds. This is the hopper where they load the plastics in. As you can see, feeds it up the conveyor belt. Into the system, very gradually. Down through the system. Okay, so they're gonna uh, run the forklift for us off of the fuel that was just made and just pumped out of the system right here. This is the uh, cooler right here for the, the water chiller for the off gases. This is the actual control panel. Yeah, so these are all touch screens, but this is, I'm not, I don't have the operation of this unit down, I know the smaller ones, but what we're looking at is the reactors and the temperatures here. Mm -hmm. You see at the different stages. Right. Okay. And This is automatic functions on. They've changed some of the screens. Um, this is a tank level showing oil tanks uh, levels, or I'm not sure if it's reactor tank or not. Oh, it's reactor tank okay. levels, uh, how much liquid is in those. So it must be B and A reactor. And then I don't know if that's a central tank or I gotta figure out, that may be the optic tank. I don't know. It says okay. reactor. just says reactor. So I have to, I have to go. You would obviously uh, have uh, Screens in Spanish. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> cliff that they're about to put diesel, the diesel Toyota forklift. Diesel Toyota forklift that they're putting. With 50, 50, 50. Okay. Diesel and gasoline. They have blended the uh, Plastic. plastics oil with regular diesel fuel, 50, 50 percent, and they're going to put it right here in this diesel Toyota, Toyota forklift. forklift. Plastic oil. Yeah. Okay. okay. See. See. Plastic oil. <laughs> yeah. And bottom is around diesel. Okay. Not quite 50, 50. So this is probably what, like a 30 70 blend? Maybe 40. 40, 40, 60, 40, 60. 40, 60 blend of plastic yeah, fuel and there diesel fuel. You can blend up to 50 50. This is the uh, smaller unit, the MVG 200. This is the hopper where they load it in. And uh, just a little quick walk around. This one, as opposed to the conveyor belt, has the turns key or the turnstile type loader control box as you can see it's always the same system it's just scaled down so these are the reactors this is the off gas filter and this is the off tank tank as you can see this fuel is a little darker because they're using a different plastic but the consistency is still the same They're now pouring the diesel mixture into the tank. Freedom, Harry, Rick, Jason, Rod, and our guy from Blessed. They have two systems running here in this factory. The 1000 over there, which I don't know if you can really see because of the light. 
and the smaller 200 here. They've poured the entire content of the mixed fuel into the diesel forklift and uh, they're about to start it. As you can see, it's running fine. There is no excess knocking. Pure diesel. Right. No sulfur. No sulfur. No sulfur. Saving the environment. Saving the one, environment. One plastic bottle at a time. <laughs> I love it. As you can tell, there's no shortage of power. Everything is working correctly. And all of this from these systems. The future is here, people. see he's uh, actually picked up a load now so that you can see it's load bearing he's got an entire bin full of newspapers everything is working fine still no excess amount of black smoke coming out the back and it cut off just like that <laughs> Harry wants to sniff the exhaust. <laughs> Wafting. Our expert says cleaner than biodiesel smell. Yeah, yeah. The, what, what's happening is um, because there's some lighter fuel elements in there, you get more complete combustion yes. in the process. So you you actually reduce carbon monoxide and you reduce some other elements. On my personal vehicle, I have a piece of energy that runs at rates of 100 percent to 1 percent biodiesel, and you can smell the biodiesel fumes from the exhaust. Uh, this, when the engine was running at a, a mix fuel from the plastics, it smells cleaner than regular diesel fuel. So we loaded, we put in something like um, what that was about two gallons of fuel. Yeah, about two gallons of plastic fuel mixed in with this tank. It was about two thirds of a tank full here, so we're going to call it um, maybe eight gallons, right? So that's a good. Yeah. It's a low ratio, but you can smell that just that that little bit of plastic oil fuel that was put in there makes the overall tank burn cleaner. It, it was much cleaner. Yeah. 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 You didn't, you didn't have that to go. Or, you know, the plastic I didn't smell anything. I thought it was very, very clean. It just, so it's just the air was coming out. Yeah, right, right.